<laughs> um, funny story that um, a, fr- a mutual friend of ours um, told me about this guy who was looking for a, um, a guitarist. <laughs> and so next thing I thought, yeah, oh, I'm up for an adventure. So I gave uh, mum would have called and he says, yeah, hey Mike, yeah, come on over. And so the next thing, I'm over at his place, just strung away and um, we just connected just on a really cool level. So it's just so easy to get along with. So yeah, that's basically how we met and our paths kind of crossed and he said, oh, you know, you up for the, an adventure, you know, we're going to play at the Opera House. I was like, sure, okay, <laughs> let's do it. So that was an amazing gig and um, just, just the lead up to it, like we had something like, 10 days to rehearse and get it all together and put it all together for this gig. So um, literally Mum would be saying, hey, do you know some singers? I'm like, oh yeah, sure, um, I know these girls. And so I called them up, next thing we got them on board. And um, I said, yeah, I don't know, another guitarist, we got him on board. And then we had some other guys from LA fly out and big complicated story there, but basically um, Mum would just told them to go home. <laughs> After some, I mean, maybe I'll let him tell that story. But um, yeah, so we had just had the whole gang together. We got together together with Phil, Maharshi, Joe and his dad and um, who else have I missed anyone else? I think I've got everyone. Oh yeah and Alex on flute and so we just put this whole crew together and just rehearsed like crazy and then the gig came along and then bang it was just beautiful everything fell together. How would I define it? I would define it as world music meets something spiritual and something kind of folksy with an element of pop in there like with these kind of nice gypsy guitars going through it and I love how Mahmood can incorporate um, so many eastern elements into it so from um, you know Indian kind of vocals through to Indian tabla yet combining that with all the western sounds and sensibilities and I find it really interesting that um, what Mahmood's doing is quite revolutionary because out of all the music that comes out of India and Pakistan it's all based around ancient ragas and so you will have people just improvising over these ancient ragas and not actually creating something new or different. Um, That's where I guess Mahmood comes into his own light. He's creating and composing this original music in a western style that also embraces this eastern style and really kind of meshes the two and integrates them. So um, it's quite incredible what he's doing and I can see why, um, you know, there's a bit of controversy behind some of his music back home but now they're really starting to embrace it and, and yeah, everyone loves it here in the west and, you know, it's just taking on a life of its own back home as well. Mahmood is crazy. Uh, I think, to me, he's um, he's very driven. I love that about him. And he'll set a goal, and he will just go for it. Um, he's like, you know, hey, you know, let's play the opera house, and all that, you know. And everyone else is like, you're crazy, man. You want to play the opera house? And it's like, boom, we did it. We played it. It was one of the best gigs we ever did. It was just felt like home, you know, we're up there on stage, felt so relaxed, and it was beautiful, it was wonderful. And then, you know, next Mumwood's going, oh, you know, hey, we're gonna get on uh, TV. And it's like, boom, yeah, cool. All right, we're on TV. We're gonna get a number one in the ARIA charts. Cool, boom, it's done, you know? So it's interesting when Mumwood, I guess what I've learned now is when Mumwood says something and he wants to do it and puts his mind to it, it happens. And so I'm, I'm all for that adventure and I love that. And if anything, he's taught me a lot, um, especially with my own development as an artist as well. Um, and that's what I love about Mumwood too. He's got that freedom, you know, to let us do our own thing as well. But, you know, we just come and meet up and do the MKF thing and it's just wonderful. It's just great. I wish there were more artists like him. He's just, yeah, wonderful. I met Mahmood through Mike, the guitarist. Mike I'd met once. Um, received a text message. Um, are you interested in helping out, you know, singing along with something? And it just went from there. Yeah, we all met him the same, same way. Right? Yeah. Mike recruited all of us. All right, yeah, so yeah, it's Mike. Yeah. Well, Grace and I both went to the same school, and Mike was actually. Um, uh, one of the music teachers there, yeah. and so um, Grace and I were in the same class, so we kind of knew each other beforehand, um, but never really collaborated musically before this. Mm. 
Yeah, it was really lucky when we um, when we first got together. I thought because like our voices just happened to blend pretty it just well. Started on that first and it was literally night, just yeah. like Mikey just pulled out three people that he knew were available to do it. So yeah, it was really yeah, they got lucky. It was pretty cool. It it was. Um, a little, a little stressful, I guess, with learning the songs because the songs were so um, fantastically written and um, they were just so beautiful and something so different than, I guess, what we probably were used to singing before and we really wanted to make sure we got it right and um, in the end, it, everything turned out fantastically and um, the op- at the Opera House, everything sounded great. So um, a lot of work, but everyone, you know, pulled it together and, you know, it sounded great. Yeah, I think my favourite thing about it was that like it was always open to your own interpretation like the mood is very much like how do you guys feel about it um any ideas that you have and like I know because yeah. like like his songs didn't have like he didn't have any parts written for us sort of thing so he just once he heard us he started getting ideas listened to ideas it felt, it felt really like inclusive yeah, we kind of just worked through harmonies yeah sort of to see what yeah. worked and what didn't and very comfortable as well and just you know just it, it felt like it was just jamming you know and so that's yeah. what was really cool. it was so comfortable you know and everyone and had a lot of fun so it was great that's mm. good I just say it's like when someone asks I just say it's world music because I feel like it's a it's a combination of lots of different styles that's sort of a broad category for it but um I mean like with with us girls we sort of bring a little bit of a pop element to it mm. and he has like a eastern side and we like sort of bring in the western and they and you've got the tablet and just like so many different things that you yeah. that have combined together and yeah it's really it it's really throwing a um, non-western culture into, I guess, the Western pop that we're used to. Um, it's really, really, really cool thing. Yeah, it blends really beautifully together. You know, yeah. like to have two completely different cultures mixed together and to come out with something that is so um, new and so fresh and so um, astonishingly beautiful. So yeah. it, it works really different, well. Like that. Yeah, different. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> My mood is definitely um, writing a, a lot of just inspiration and, um, you know, he, uh, he tells about how he's up late at night just coming up with all sorts of ideas and new concepts and things like that. So really, he's, he's out on a limb and, and, yeah, you know, it's crazy, but it's awesome. It's yeah. awesome stuff. Yeah, I think it's really great, especially um, as a former and songwriter that you have that drive in you, that passion. And I think that's what my mood has, has and um, I think it's that the passion that really drives you forward. And um, it's really admirable to see that in someone, especially, um, you know, as a songwriter and a, a performer. So. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, like one of my, like my mood, like classic mood, is <laughs> <Classic. laughs> a call up like day before. <laughs> Guys, we need to do this and just... Um, yeah, like let us know more, but that's like that's why it works so well because it's always like it's that spur of the moment inspiration thing that strikes and you just go with it and that's I, I think what we all want to do just go with it and it'll work. The randomness, yeah. the randomness. Our sound is never the same. Each performance is always different because mm. of that. Um, we, you know, our rehearsals, every single one will do something different, and you know what will happen on the day we'll find out. He found me on YouTube and then. He just contacted me and wanted me to be a part of his team and it was really nice. We met one day and like we like jammed a little bit for a little bit and then we started to yeah, like you know understand each other from that day. See, actually like he has got his own stuff and his own creation and like uh, I I know what he sings and like uh, what's his background, like from whom he learned and everything. So it was very convenient for me to like uh, accompany him and like uh, our wavelength were matching at some stage so it was easy, easy for me to play and it was good and still it's uh, like every time you find it unique uh, even it's repeating but uh, you always find it something new every time whenever you play with him it's an improvising thing and like he never stick to one thing he just improvising whenever he wants so like uh, and appropriate not uh, anything but like according to the mood according to the theme everything that's very interesting <laughs> My mood, I got a call, I was actually, um, I was doing some practice at the conservatorium, this is where I'm studying at, um, in Sydney, and Joe called me and he said, Joe the bass player, Joe, 
Jake calls me and says, hey, how would you like to do a gig at the Opera House? And I was quite stoked, to say the least. And um, so I was you know, a bit shaky and I accepted the gig. And when I finally got to meet my mood, top guy. Yeah, really endearing character, knows what he wants. And um, really enjoyed playing with him. If it feels good, it's funky. <laughs> <laughs> and it feels good? It's funky, yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's great. I love playing it. Um, from, the, from the moment, actually, when um, <clears throat> the first, first um, before the first rehearsal, I got a CD to listen to all the tunes, and I got a sense of, of, of how they were meant to be played, but once I got to the rehearsal, it was... Um, Mummy kind of... Uh, asked me to adopt almost my own style to it and we kind of jammed on a couple of things which I felt really comfortable about you know, it wasn't so rigid and I think that's what is, is great about this this whole experience is, is getting everyone together um, bringing their own interpretations to it and my mood's so accepting of it is my mood crazy? of course it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he brought me in one day and said, you know, I need a uh, another guitarist in my band. I want as many guitarists as I possibly get in the band. And um, Mike said, you know, let, let's go, let's do it. Let's, let's have a, a good time with this guy. And that's what we did. I love it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I've always sort of played my music. We've always had, I've always had a touch of... Um, uh, different cultures in our music, especially sort of Indian music. Uh, we played for a long time with, with, with Tabla in our own, in our band before Mahmood, and um, but bringing this into with Mahmood is fantastic. You know, it's, it's something I know and, and and I love and appreciate, and I can see where he's going and what he's doing, and it's a it's a really um, I think I think it's a the, the way of the future. You know, I think it's something that everybody's going to love and enjoy and I think it's a really nice and um, the beautiful kind of music. Um, well, definitely the sort of the, I suppose, the, the next stage of where music is going. I mean, especially in a country like Australia, um, because it's such a, a multicultural country. Um, uh, people, anybody can appreciate this. I mean, the song that he did work well with, uh, uh, Like the River, is um, such a, a good example of a, a song that uh, incorporates every different type of music. It, it, it really sort of binds different cultures into one song. It's fantastic, you know. I love friendship, um, appreciation for for life in, in general. I mean, he's such a. Um, uh, I mean, he. One of the first things when I after I met him was was. What he said was, um, you know, I, I like you, and that was it. It was that was part of the the, the test to be a part of um, his band. Is he, he wanted to be with people that he enjoyed and uh, people that he could work with, and and that the, the mood and the uh, atmosphere of the band was was happiness and and um, friendship and sort of and that's what his music's about. You know, it's, it's about. Um, trying to, you know, use a vehicle, which is music, to spread that that message out to people, and that's what he does. It's fantastic. Um, uh, he's a he's a musician. He's a he's a musician. <laughs> I have an, uh, uh, my name and number on a on a website, and he called. He, I remember he was calling people from that website uh, looking for bass plays. We had, a, I remember, yeah, I remember that conversation, yeah, we had a yeah. call conversation. Um, I had no idea what I was getting myself into at the time. Went to his house, we had a play through a couple of the tunes. Um, yeah, all good. It was okay. quite a, uh, uh, pretty random. Still had no idea what, what was happening at the time, really. Okay. It was, it was it was more of a um, when I say no idea what was happening, I, I guess I mean I had no idea uh, exactly where it was going and what his big vision was because it was just me and him, you know, 
strumming away with his with his songs and uh, he was more just concentrating on listening to what I was playing and therefore I, I had no idea what the songs were really supposed to sound like nor what I was supposed to play mm. I kind of still feel the same way now <laughs> it's always uh, different and it's all well different in in that it's not that different it's good it's like every time we rehearse there's, he's always got some new vision something new he wants to put in or something he wants to, to change from the last time which is um, all good but sometimes he does that at the gig brand new things we've never done before um, so always on my toes playing with my mood always on my toes it's a, it's a really good musical challenge and experience to, 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 to play with my mood in that way because I always have to be uh, on the ball ready to follow him you know follow him where he goes um, well aside from not really being you know having to be on your toes all the time not really being solid and concrete with where the songs were going because they were different each time um, yeah no no there was no stress I didn't feel any stress I didn't feel uh, I didn't feel any negativity or any negative things no stress it was it was pretty pretty good pretty happening um, yeah that feeling of being on your toes all the time um, was, was a good experience uh, complete natural um, no no, I don't think it's crazy at all. Um, I don't really know exactly what he is, um, except that he's he has a song to deliver, and he has a um, a musical vision. And uh, every time he tries to. Uh, Wait, sorry, not tries. Every time we do a gig, every time he, every time it, it comes out of him, the music comes out of him. He's, he's singing, and his songs. Um, it's always a, a new experience, and um, there's nothing crazy about that. And I think more music should be like that for sure. Unique in that um, it has to be what he wants in the moment and in the moment is how I reckon music should be always. Joe was playing with him and then uh, uh, he wanted another guitarist so um, Joe said come along and play and my mood was happy with that. His voice to start with is very unique I think. Uh, the, um, the pulse of his uh, and the pulse with the rhythm of the music is uh, is uh, exciting. Um, the words uh, of his songs are uh, uplifting and lightning, and uh, uh, you know, there's this for life sort of stuff. And it's really nice. Uh, I like the uh, feeling that the music uh, uh, gives me, and the people who are listening to it, a uh, real good sense of the rhythm, the interplay between the different instruments. Um, particularly the bass and the, the uh, tablas, um, and it's just, just joyous music, it's really nice. Mm. Well, taking into account my mood's enthusiasm, I think it can go anywhere. Um, uh, I've never met quite a man who's uh, dedicated and so intense on getting places, and uh, I've got to give it to him to for, for the, the sort of the musicians he's created around him that um, you know a little bit really out of sync with this sort of music but uh, he's persevered with this all and it's it's I think it's working very well and I think he's going to um, get to where he wants to get in the end um, I don't think there's any doubt about that because he's he's uh, so dedicated to what he's doing he's got the the subcontinent feel to it but it's more than that it's um 
It's very, um, it's simple music, but it's played and portrayed in such a way that it becomes mesmerizing. Um, I like it because it's because of the rhythms in it, the, the, the pulse, the drive in the music, um, the enthusiasm that, that everybody who's playing it, uh, it's the enthusiasm that emanates from people playing it and from people who are listening to it, they get uh, quite carried away with the whole drive of the music. It's exciting music.